How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another weekly Flesh and Blood live stream, or I'm calling it Flesh and Blood Live because no one else is doing that, so I'm claiming that. I am I am first first to field, so claiming the name. <laughs> How's it going? I'm joined today uh, by Ian Kenderdine, also known as Right Time Gaming. He's he's currently above me in the in the layout here. How's it going? Yeah. Uh, folks in chat, let me know if all of the audio things are all right. I'm still fiddling around with some of the back-end stuff, like uh, the music and all that kind of stuff, but it should be good. Lord Ubel, hello, hello. Oh, excellent. So we do have uh, some some folks already in chat. Uh, before we get started, if, uh, if you'd like to go uh, follow my guest here, Ian, he does have his own YouTube channel, uh, Right Time Gaming, as well as, uh, like, Facebook, I think, as you said, was the most yeah, act Facebook, active place. Facebook, Right Time Gaming, uh, Twitter, Right Time G, and uh, yeah, YouTube. If uh, still trying to get to 316 to give away that mat, <laughs> been trying to do that since Aria. Like, as I was saying, uh, we we just uh, did the Leveling Legends podcast, and I was like, I've played in there, uh, I've played in more gym events than I have uh, subscribers on my YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have a. It'd be nice if, if those two numbers could uh, start to catch up. Admittedly, I understand I don't I don't post that frequently on on YouTube, which I am hoping that that now that we're out of the competitive traveling season, I can uh, get back to doing a bit more of. Um, yeah. But yeah, join us. And as I said, if we get to three sixteen, I'll give away that sushi sushi night plan. Yeah. And we have a uh, Chris from Stormgate Games here from Malaysia. Welcome. I uh, I mentioned this a few times through like my channel and other things, but like I think only like 50% of the viewers of Red Zone Rogue are from the U.S. Um, there's a lot of folks from other countries represented, which is which is awesome. Um, you know, Malaysia, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, a lot of German and French viewers uh, as well. Like, so that's awesome. Um, uh, Ian and I, we are going to be. It says Ian's audio is a little muffled compared. How I, is it? Here, I might be able to. I'm, I'm not sure that may that be maybe on my end. Also, it's just started raining very heavily. <laughs> well, um, I, I can't I can't hear the rain. Uh, out the front. At least. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking maybe that may may be affecting my internet, but who knows? I'm not a tech genius. Oh, uh, Lord Jubal says they're from Jamaica. <laughs> Holy crap, that's awesome. That's like a first. That for me, actually, I think you commented before in another video. I think you said that too. I think I remember that. That's still awesome though. Like, um, I really love how like global, um, like, flesh and blood is as a whole. I think it's I think it's sweet. I guess that's the nature of YouTube in general. But yeah. So today, we're gonna be playing some Blitz. Um, I'm gonna be playing Arachne, and uh, Ian's gonna be playing Brutes of all shapes but this this shape is uh, in in the ko form same with ko and we're gonna uh of course because we had new stuff we're gonna play with new stuff this yeah. beautiful marble rock hell yeah i'm gonna see if we can't get it going i got one of my five black tech whispers that i've opened <laughs> i actually sold i ended up selling two and i bought a cold foil which is out for delivery today. Bought it from uh, Fab Foundry. By the way, I have a Fab Foundry uh, affiliate links in the description if you'd like to buy some singles from an excellent dude. Um, uh, I also should mention, I don't. I never mention this and I should be better at mentioning this. We do have channel memberships and if you do a channel membership here on YouTube, you get access to all of the emotes that I made. And the more people join, the more emotes I can do. So if you wanna do channel memberships or join us, join us uh that would be a great you can use the the cool emotes in chat uh hey we have a uh, lynette says don't know which of you to back so so good luck eh, thanks i don't i don't know someone you, you know you know who you should back lynette yeah the the <laughs> ranger fan yeah <laughs> i'm not playing ranger today but i do have a, a new lexi deck that i brewed up um, i need to put it together but my, my, my second take on the, the no fuse Lexi. Hello, hello, a loving the Rackney love here. Looks like a shiny deck here. It's almost all foil. I'm only missing a couple cards, I think like 10 or 12, but uh, Jim from Fab TCG Cards has been setting aside 
a bunch of foils for me, and I'm going to buy them from him. Um, but I, I, I am rocking a cold foil spider's bite and a cold foil ornate tezin, which I think is actually kind of great for Arachne. In a lot of turns, you don't actually want to attack with both of your daggers, so Arachne is one of the few heroes, I think, that can really, really make use of offhands. So, I mean, like, in my, in my loadout here, I also have, like, uh, the Arcane Lantern against the, uh, you know, Arcane Damage classes. Um, and I, I do have my sweet Cold Foil Ironhide. The glove slot is uh, the most dubious, in my opinion, because there's, like, Cracker Jacks, Ironhide, and then, like, Null Rune. There's not a lot of options here. Um, and I was also telling Ian... Cold Foil Cracker Jacks. If you're a fan of Arachne, Cold Foil Cracker Jacks are still like two bucks on TCG Player. Y'all should go like buy them before they go up. It's only two bucks. And it's like one of the only options for Arachne. So <laughs> if you like Arachne and you want a Cold Foil, you should probably just go grab a $2 Cold Foil Cracker Jacks. How did the right. Living Legends pod go? Gents missed out. Uh, yeah, man. We missed you. But I hope you had a great time with your lady, man. Um... Smash Arachne, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> uh, I'm one of the spiders that'll, uh, you, you think you've killed it, but it's just playing dead, and then you pick up the rock, and it just gets scutt scuttles away. You'll be like, that, that's the plan. Well, we're, get, we're gonna see today what happens when you uh, drop, a, drop a rock on a spider. That's, that's, that, that's the goal for today. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We, we will see. Um, Alright. Um, do you want to call odds or evens to see uh, who goes first? Let's go odds, please. Odds it is. Your choice. Alrighty. Let's see. Um, I've played against a lot of brutes. I don't know how you're doing your life. I'm just to show people here. I'm, I've got the 46. Oh. Uh, let me grab some dice. I do have some dice. I can do that as well. Um, I'll, I'll go first, I think. I'm not sure what the, what's the best call, but I've played against a lot of Brutes who just high roll me turn one, and it doesn't really <laughs> doesn't matter all that much, so I think making it so I can have a, a, a nice little setup I think is probably what I want to do. So, uh, so yes. And then my life will be here in quantities of five. I actually have one of the the Team Covenant little board things. Hold on. Let me grab that too. Which are very nice. Um, I've, I've been uh, recently very impressed with the fab metal token things. Uh, someone yeah. someone gave me this at Worlds. This is from the Metrics metagame. The dude from that. Uh, I've, got, that I've got them in the uh, in the streamer size, which, uh, which is, is very cool. Yes. Yeah, so I was, I was actually so impressed by them. I actually reached out to them. And I was like... Hey, I thought your products are really cool. Um, would you like to do a collaboration with me? I'm approaching my 15K subscribers, and I think it'd be really cool to offer something uh, cool to folks who are fans of the channel. So we're actually going to be doing a, a collaboration with Fab, uh, the Metal Token guys, uh, for like a Red Zone Rogue one that I will sell on my store. Probably for like... That's true. It'll be a bigger one. Uh, we're, we're toying around with ideas. Like maybe we'll, we might do like a more of the rectangle one, but it will we'll have to do with uh, um, resources. Resources, nice. Yeah. So they also they also do this this really cool um, go again dominate double sided uh, double sided nice. uh, token, which uh, I I would I I I didn't manage to get one. Ironically, although I have one right here, I didn't manage to get one at Worlds because me and uh, the guy just kept missing each other but uh steven from uh dm amada hooked me up with with his one before he left so i was nice. very thankful for him for that all righty let's begin uh i will not forget my tunic trigger um now uh someone asked if we got deck lists i don't know about you cal but like i literally just put this this is a this is a pile of cards that i put together together just before we it's... came to came to air so i'm not i'm not sure this is that we'll, we'll see how it goes if uh, if it does okay i might post the deck list but it may just be and um, this is a uh, this is effectively the stream of consciousness uh style <laughs> of deck building yeah fair <laughs> i um 
I will have a deck list, but not right now. This deck's a work in progress, and I plan to do a full deck tech on it. So stay tuned on the channel. I will have a full deck tech on this Blitz Arachne list um, within the week, maybe but as early as Monday. And in that video, I will have a deck list for it. Uh, nice. it'll, it'll be nice. uh, like a February list. I've been, I've been very much enjoying February lately. All right, so uh, my, my first turn... Um, I have a couple options. I could try to just go for it. I know Brutes don't famously block super well. There's a lot of, like, zero blocks, but he's running rock, so it's going to be a an interesting one. Um, how big do I want to go? Hmm. I probably just want to get some stuff out of my hand and set up for a bigger turn. So I think I would just like to play this um, Annihilate the Armed. I'm going to pitch this Captain's Call to pay for it. It's going to float one resource here. Um, and so here we have some fun triggers. Okay, so I think the way we're going to have to do this on webcam is you're just going to have to look away, Ian, because I have, a, a, I have an Arachne trigger. So this is a contract card. This one cares about attack action cards. Um, but Arachne lets me look at the top card of Ian's deck, and then I can choose to put it on the bottom or back on the top. So I guess Ian Sorry. just has to look away real quick. I've, I've got two cams, so I can't I can't see my face cam. So I'll I'll just pick up and show you the face the face cam. Okay. So can you see that? No, I, I can't see it. All right. Okay, I can see it now. Uh, I know what it is. Um, we will put that on the bottom. We'll, we'll choose to put that on the bottom. Yeah, no, I, I thought about this when you, when we said that we're going to do this matchup. This is a little bit harder to do on webcam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's one of those things you just have to... It's like an honor system kind of thing, right? You just have to make sure yeah. that they look look away and aren't cheating. But I obviously, I, I trust you, man. So, okay, so this is, uh, this is five. Five? Yeah. And what's the on hit? Uh, so, so all of them except for the Majestics is a banish the top card of your deck. Okay. And this one cares about attack uh, action cards. Alright, so I am I'm gonna block five because obviously my skull cap is already on because I started nineteen. Cool. Uh, I do have a reaction. You're gonna hear this a lot because like half my deck is reactions. Um, I would like to cut to the chase. So once again, I get a look at the top card of your deck and I can choose to put it on the bottom. Maybe we'll put we'll put that on the bottom. And so uh, this is a yellow, so it gives it a I feel like you're pitch stacking for me. <laughs> I know, right? I know, I know, I know what the bottom two cards of your deck are. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is seven. And so is there an, another trigger for the hit with the reaction, or is it just the... No, the so the uh, Cut to the Chase just gives a, an assassin card plus two, and then it has that effect. I'm uh, just being, right. giving it a look. Um... So effectively, so you said you're coming in for seven, and I am technically blocking five, so I'll take two. Okay, yep, yep, you'll take two, and then uh, the top card gets banished, and it's, I don't know what it is, so hopefully it's, hopefully it's an attack action. Nope, oh, nope. No, you, you, get, you get to see this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's cool. it's a... I, I, saw, I saw it when I picked it up, so... Like, yeah, but... cool. All right, cool. So I don't, I don't get any silver from that. Uh, I, I will not uh, react with any of my other stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass the turn. I wanted to at least generate one silver on that, but yeah, I'll take a couple damage. I'm going to arsenal my final card and uh, pass one over to you. It is the only way. What does it say? Oh, totally wifey. Oh, we have uh, both uh, Goblin Reserve and As in the chat. Great, great dudes. Alrighty, I am... I'm going to play out uh, Smash Instinct, and I am going to pitch uh, Barrage and Beatdown and then a Brandish. Uh, so I do have uh, two floating. Is this an Intimidate one? This is an Intimidate one, yeah. Okay. Uh, I have... So left to right, one, one through four. Okay. I'll roll the D4. It is number two, so okay. second from your left. Let me see what that was. All right, so this is coming in for six. Coming in for six, you say. Um, let me take a Two look. Two floating, one card in hand. So I still get this back. 
All right, I would like to block. I think it's good to block early with some of this stuff. So we'll block. Yeah. Uh, I'll block five here with a leave no witnesses and both my equipment. All right, so you're taking one? Yeah, take one. All right. Um, I will ask all pops. Cool. Uh, both of my equipment get a minus one. Alrighty, and then I get my card back. Uh, get a tunic counter. Uh, I think this turn we can maybe do. Maybe we can do some stuff. Um. Hmm. It's an interesting, interesting thing. I think I would like to. New class, so I have to make sure the New sequencing class, is correct. <laughs> make sure the sequencing is correct. Um. Yeah. Uh, I would like to attack with spider's bite. Um, I'm going to be pitching this surgical extraction, $50 resource card, um, float, uh, float one. So this is spider's bite has piercing. Um, and then if it hits, uh, the next time you defend with one or more attack action cards, they all get minus one while defending. Mm. What are you on? You're on 19. Yeah. Took one. I am going to block with uh, Fendel's Fighting Spirit because I'm on 17. I get to gain one. Cool. That is true. Uh, I would that like to follow that up with an Eradicate using my final resource here. So this one is a four and then a Contracted to banish yellow cards. I do have the, the Arachne trigger to look at the top card of your deck, but then uh, if it hits, it banishes X, where X is the number of damage, amount of damage that it dealt. Uh, can you see that? I don't even know what that card is. Can you can you raise it up a little bit more? Okay. Um, uh, possible, we, we possible. Will... I have cards. I have cards from the classic battles in here. That may be... Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's just bot... Well, we'll bottom that one. I'm guessing the fact that you didn't know it means it was probably yeah. one of the cards. <laughs> I'm like, this art, it's got a brood on it. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember which one it is. It's not, not a very common one. Uh, but yeah, this is a four coming in. I'll just, I'll block, I'll block two here. Okay. I'll, I'll react with, uh, with my black tech here to give it go again, if it hits. Sure. So you'll take two and then, uh, banish yeah. two. So banish two? Yeah, it's, uh, eradicate, so it does, uh, where the number of damage right. is. Cool. So, one, uh, seven trees. Cool. And... Is a barrage, uh, barrage of damage. Okay, so that those right. double double whiff on my part, because uh, it cares about yellow cards. Um, right. Yeah. And then I will just follow up with the e strike from Arsenal, uh, tucking my final card for seven. Yeah. That's gross. Um. That is gross. Um. I'll just um, sigil and yeah. take um, take three. Uh, you mean gain three and then four, you'll... take four, take four, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah gain three, take, take two, yeah. So taking four is, is, is basically the yep the overall outcome. So I'm I'm down to twelve. Okay, and then I will go ahead and clean up my turn. It is now your turn. And then 
black my tech. My turn. I'm gonna kind of stick the black tech in a spot where I can see it a little bit better. Yeah, my turn. I just, uh, I just roar up and pass. Okay. All right. So my turn starts. I'll get a counter on my tunic. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Hmm. Okay. I think we'll start by attacking with a spider's bite. I would like to pay for that with this rub the rich yellow. So that's a spider's bite coming on in. For one? Yep, for one. And then if it deals damage to you. Um, so, okay, a couple things to note because I see you're putting some equipment there. It has piercing one. So it gets plus one if you block with an equipment. Um, oh, yeah. And then uh, if it hits the next uh, time you block with attack actions, they all get minus one defense. Mm. That piercing one is just like super, super annoying, I think. Yeah. All right. Uh, block with uh, uh, time of the Okay. Um, okay, and then with the go again, I would like to attack with a surgical extraction, paying for it with um, an eradicate here. So surgical extraction is the one where it cares about banishing blue cards, but if it hits, I also got to look at your hand and banish a card as well. So it's coming in for four, and I do have an arachne trigger to look at the top card of your deck. Ooh. You know what? We can leave that one on top. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, at that point where I think I can start doing some stuff like that. All right. Uh, no initial block, any reactions? Uh, no. Uh, Rick will swing. Oh, okay. I, I, I will have an action, I will, will have a reaction after Rick will swing. Resolve. Alright, so dice, KO, or rock? Uh, let's do rock. Yeah. Okay, no, so. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try some tricky, some tricky business here. So we can... I don't know. This is probably not the optimal play, but I'm going to try it anyway. All right. So during the reaction window at instant speed, I'm going to crack my ornate Tezen using my tunic uh, resource. <laughs> so ornate Tezen says instant, destroy it. Put a card from my hand on the bottom of my deck if I do draw a card. So I'm going to put this card from here, bottom of my deck, and then draw a card. Oh, yes. And I would like to shred your uh, defense reaction for minus three. Yeah. So I take I take uh, three then. Uh, you'll take three, and then I get to uh, banish the top card of your deck, and then I get to look at your hand and banish a card as well. So banishing the top card, which yep. was should be an e pot. Uh, e pot. Yep, and, and that, that yeah. will trigger. My, my hands, my hands, pretty average. It's uh, rolling thunder or remembrance. Ah, I see. Uh, we'll get rid of rolling thunder, I guess. Neither of them are blue, so they don't they don't hit off a surgical. But I still get a no. I still get a silver for the uh, for the epot though, and then that's gonna be my turn. <laughs> I feel like this game is not going the way it should, so I'm just gonna try and steal some tempo back. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna crack deep blue, uh, paying for it by playing the remembrance on my deck. Swing with a rock. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, yeah. So you have you have no cards in your hand, yeah? No, no. All no, right, man. Can't, can't have any cards to do it. So. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well, that's, that's the upside of uh, <laughs> me me taking the cards from your hand. See, this is why I'm not a hundred percent sure what um what uh if tunic or deep blue is the better bet in in blitz. I, th I think obviously tunic is the better bet in CC, but uh, but uh, I I, I like the fact that like stuff like this can happen where you can 
with one card still swing for seven and sort of make you force you to either take some damage or block. Yeah. Also, we have a uh, Jim from Fab TCG Cards in the chat too. What's up, fellas? How's it going, Jim? Howdy. I got this big old rock coming at me. So rock, r remind me. So it's it's coming in for seven, and then it like can't be prevented. Like the damage can't be prevented. Yeah. So coming in for seven and can't be prevented. Uh, so activate rock only if you have no cards in hand. Damage that uh, would be dealt by rock can't be prevented. Mm -hmm. So no, no oasis respites or or any of that shenanigans. Um, but you can still block. Um, I do like the cards in my hand. So I think I might keep them. So I might just take... What are you at, by the way? You're I'm at, at nine. Nine? Yeah. And I'm at 19. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to take the seven and go to 12. I should probably block. That's probably the smart play, everyone. But uh, it's not the greedy play. <laughs> it's the smart play, not the greedy play. And obviously, I want the greedy play. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so here here's my greedy well, we'll see, we'll see. Um I'll just attack with this uh annihilate the armed it's a blue. I'm gonna pay for it with this uh I think it's best to pay for it like this. So I'll pay for it with the shred. So I'll float two resources here. So it's coming in for three. Uh, we have an assass uh, Arachne trigger to look at the top card. This one cares about banishing attack action cards. Hmm. Can you can you lift it up just a little bit? Okay. Uh, we can leave that on top. I think. Um. Yep. So it's coming in for three. Just just a casual three. Uh, block three. Okay, I do have reactions. I would like to uh, razor, and then also crack the mask of perdition as well. So uh, razor will use up one resource, so I have one floating here. Um, so this will be coming in for six, and then if it hits, I get an additional banish, and also we get a. Uh, it gets go again as well. Uh, I'm going to gain three first. Okay. Before anything. Uh, and then it's going to hit for three. Correct? Uh, yep, yep. So it'll hit for three. Yeah. And then was it two banishes? Yeah, it'll be it'll be two because of the Mask of Perdition. Right, so uh, first one was Pack Hunts. Yep. And, and that's then a... the second one is a command and combat. Ooh, nice. So those are both attack actions, so I will get two. Right. Ah. I will get two silver. Uh, and then I I do have go again from this. You have one, uh, three cards in your hand, yeah? Two cards. Two cards. I, I think I'm just going to arsenal and then, and then pass to you. All right. I have both my mask and my black tech in my and yield banished or discard pile. Okay. How are you doing, Mr. Red? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? It's always great when you get to play some flesh and blood. I spent a lot of time making like YouTube videos, so uh, I would like more time to play, to actually play the games. And so these, these streams is a great melding of being able to play games and then also make content. Uh, I'm just going to ask one pass. Okay, cool. Um, so I have two triggers at the start of my turn. I have uh, the tunic and then I also have black tech and mask of perdition triggers. I will uh, sacrifice two... Uh, or destroy two silver to get the, my black tech back. So I'm going to re-equip those. Alright. Uh, my turn. Let's attempt some... Well, we'll do... Hold on. Let's see. To do this, I need... these. Okay. We'll, we'll attack with the spider's bite first. 
uh, pitching this regicide, which I'm running just because I love it, not because I think it's actually going to do much. Uh, so that's going to float one resource here. Spider's Bite, one, go again. And it's got piercing one, right? Yeah, piercing one. So if you block with an equipment, it gets plus one. Yeah. So if I block with my scabs and levers, which haven't blocked before, it will block at all still? How much does... So scab skins, you haven't used it yet. So it's it, got two. Yeah, so it'll block it out. Because uh, Spider's yeah. Bite will get plus one, so it'll just b bounce off yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, okay. So we'll do that. Cool. Okay, sweet. Uh, and then I will attempt to... Um, let's just... This is the safer play, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to play Enlightened Strike. I'm going to tuck this one card, and the mode on E-Strike is going to be Go Again. So that's just five Go Again. One resource floating, one card in hand. One on Arsenal. Uh, we are going to block one and uh, go to um, reaction phase. Any okay. reactions? Uh, I pass. Pass priority. Uh, I will play sink below. Nice. And I will use the ability of sink below. Nice. Uh, so blocking five. Hypnotoad says, oh, where did you get the metal coins? Uh, this one was given to me at uh, Worlds, but they're made by, I think it's just called Fab Metal. Metal Fab Tokens. Yeah. Um, I'm metal actually fab tokens. metal fab tokens. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to actually be partnering with them uh, for my 15,000 subscriber celebration. Uh, we're going to be doing a custom, custom red zone rogue metal tokens. So I'm looking forward to that. I think they're going to look really great. I'll probably sell them from my on my website probably for 10 bucks. I think is is what I can do. Um, okay, so Ian, you blocked out the e strike. Yep. Uh, with my remaining floating resource, I would like to rob you. Uh, it says rob the rich. Uh, so once again, we have another Arachne trigger. This one's contracted to banish cards with cost two or greater. Okay, we'll, we can leave that one on top. And it's coming in for five. I'll take five. Okay. Um, what are you at? I am at four. <laughs> I, I would like to react and do another three. So I'll, I'll cut to the chase to give it a plus three. Take it down to one. And this has a trigger too, but I'm not going to use it. I already know what the top card is, so we'll banish the, the top card. And it should be a two cost, yeah? Uh, brothers in arms, yes. Yep, cool. So I will get a silver for that. And then... Pass on over to you. Alright, so skull cap is busted. Gabskin still has one on it. Uh, we're gonna start the turn by rolling scabskins. Yeah. Five, so two actions. Pretty good. Bad. Bad. Hmm. A bit in interesting hand. <laughs> interesting hand, I guess you could say. Uh, I'm going to start uh, first action mm. putting out an e pot. Cool. Sounds good. and do some damage to you. Uh, we'll come out with a Brandish. Uh, so, Brandish, if it hits the next weapon attack, it's plus one <laughs> and it has to go again. <laughs> I love Brandish. What color Brandish is this? That is a red Brandish, so, so it's coming so in for three. three. Okay, I, I, I will block. I don't want to get rocked for eight. Um, I'll block three with a cut to the chase. Mm -hmm. And 
then I am just going to pop. Okay. All right. Um, no, I don't think I'm surviving the next turn, but... Uh, well, we'll my, my hand is actually like... Well, we'll see. We'll see. It's not as good as I would like. Let's put it that way. It's a, it's a lot of no attacks. All right, so at the start of my turn, we have two triggers. We have the Tunic, and then we have uh, the Mask of Perdition. I'm actually not going to do the Mask of Perdition uh, because I would like to cash in these silver. So we're going to play cash in uh, to destroy two silver, and then I get to draw two cards. Cash in have go again? It does have go again. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's 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 a nice it's a nice one. All right, so now I have four cards in my hand. Nice meatball. It is the best of meatball. Okay, well I think we could maybe do some damage here. Um, I would like to play Art of War. Pitching the second cash in that was in my hand. By the way, my, my hand was two cash ins in Art of War. Um, so uh, I would uh, like to float uh, one resource here. The modes on Art of War, I think we're going to choose Go Again and Banish Draw Two. So I'm going to banish this uh, Annihilate the Armed. Yeah, I'm going to banish this Annihilate the Armed and Draw Two. Okay. We, uh, we got ball players. Alright, uh, I would like to now plunder you. So I'm going to play Plunder the Poor. Uh, it has Go Again from Art of War. Uh, so this is four, and it cares about banishing cards, one or less. Uh, but it uh, also has the Arachne trigger here. Uh, let's bottom that one. Let's bottom that one. Uh, block six. Block six, you say. All right, I do have a reaction. I will attempt to kill you. I would like to shred one of them, the the beast within. I'll shred it for minus three. Oh. That'll do it. All right, cool. Um, let's go again. Let, let me try this with a tunic instead of... Cool. Sounds good. Might be the way to go. Hey, I'm just glad that my ornate Tezen got like some some use out of that, man. I really do think Assassin is like the perfect class for these like offhand kind of things, like having like the spicy yeah, offhand. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it was it's very interesting, right? Because it's it's a generic offhand, but there's no generic one-handed weapon, so it, it can only be used currently by what Assassin, Ninja, Root, and Warrior. Are the only classes that have one-handed weapons? I think oh, you're... Guardian as well, but like... Oh, Guardian, yeah. I, I can't imagine you'd ever take it over a shield and Guardian. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, especially with all those, like, shield-relevant cards that came out in Dynasty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, uh... So it's, it's interesting, because... So this is the third, third supplemental set, and we still only have one generic weapon. So yeah, very uh, interesting to see if uh, if that if that's just going to be the case going forward. That you know, Kalasha is going to be the only uh, the only generic weapon. I think there's a lot of interesting design space for it, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if we got one eventually. But it, mm. as you say, it might be a very very infrequent thing. Yeah, like it's the sort of thing where I'm like. I kind of wish they had actually made um, made Bone Basher say. Um, oh yeah. Like, like they could have made Bone Basher a generic club, right? They could have still kept it in the in the set um, because it was just worse than Romping Club. And so, at least had it been generic. How much it does it been... does it attack for four? It's attacks for four, and that's it. Okay, it, it, so it, it costs two attacks for four. So just generically, work, you know, generically, romping club is better because it can attack for five. Yeah. So yeah, romping club is strictly better. But 
It would have to be worse than that to be to make Talishar not absolute garbage. Because like Talishar is a two cost four attack, but then it breaks after a couple attacks. Yeah, yeah. So so technically it's better than Tal it, it would be better than Talishar because it doesn't break, right? Yeah. But then, but then why would you then I'm uh see because then it still works though, right? Because you can you'd still run Talishar if you were running decks that were running like stuff that dealt with daggers and swords and stuff um like like razor reflexes and stuff whereas like you could run the bone basher and a club build yeah like with a pummel build so interesting all right all right let me go first this time let's yeah. see if we can't do a little bit better than we did last time sounds good again to those people watching this literally is a deck that i threw together in my head and have never tested it before so um, if if we fall down in a, a blaze a blaze again, I do have a line <laughs> idea which, uh, which we can move to that doesn't use the rock. Um, I think the rock is definitely. I think rock, and I g generically think the rock is just better in CC where you've got more time to to set up. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right. So um, <sighs> what have we got? Yeah, so this, this this is the problem with the rock with a rock deck. Um, like this turn, all I can do is arsenal. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, okay, good. Yeah. So, so I'll get a uh, tunic counter on my turn. All right, let me, let's actually plan out my turn then, because I was like expecting to block with a bunch of this stuff <laughs> or something. All right, um. All right, well, this is the, the play that you'll see a lot. I would like to spiders bite you, pitching a blue floating one. Blues, I, I play... So with I play, the hit, it's up. With okay. the hit, is it only attack actions that get negative one defense? Yeah. So, I mean, I'll, I'll read it out exactly. So it's it, it's that, but it's also, all, also only for the first block, too. So it says, uh, when it hits a hero, the next time they defend with one or more attack action cards this turn, those cards have minus one while defending. Fine, I will take one. Okay. Well, that tells me you probably don't have a lot of attack action cards, or at least the fact not... that I arsenaled first turn probably tells you that I don't yeah. have a lot of attack actions. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's fair. Um, okay. Well, I would like to. Hmm. Now this is interesting. How do I want to do this? Do I want to repeat? We can give it a shot. No, I actually I wouldn't have enough resources because I need I would need to I wouldn't be able to do it. Okay, well, let's take some cards out of your hand. One way or another, something's coming out. Uh, we're gonna play Surgical Extraction, and I would like to pitch the Slay the Scholars to pay for it. So, Surgical's coming in. I do have the Arachne trigger to look at the top card of your deck. Hmm, we can bottom that. Mm. Hank's heading out. Have a good one, Hank. I don't know if you left already, but uh, hope you have a good one, man. No. Um. How much is it coming in for? It is four. No pierce or anything? Nope, but if it hits you, I get to look at your hand and banish a card. Which is pretty, pretty and rough. And you've got... I have, uh, one card I have one card in hand. Uh, no resources floating. Uh, we'll block five then. Hmm. I have no reactions, so I pass. But pass reaction. Right. Cool. Yeah, that's gonna do it. I'm just gonna arsenal my final card and pass to you. You ready? I think a lot of the times, unless you're sandbagging reactions, that's exactly what surgical extraction reads. It's like, right, overblock me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna roll step skins. Yeah, let's do it. It is a five, so that's two actions. That's pretty good. It's rolling uh, two two fives on that. Mm -hmm. So first action, we will play Time of Fendel. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, so drawing two. One, two. Uh, gaining four. Cool. So that, that was from your arsenal, yeah? 
That was from my arsenal. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, yep. Standing four. Yeah, pretty good. Um, then two floating. So we will then uh, pitch to play Fendel's Fighting Spirit for six. Mm, okay. So it's going for six. And, uh, and that should have two. Cool. And how many action two points cups. do you have at this point? Uh, that, that, that was the last action. So okay. one for Fendel's, uh, or one for Tone, one for Fendel's Fighting Spirit. Okay. Uh, I think I would just like to block for six here, then. It's coming in for six, right? It is coming in for six. Yeah, I'll, I'll, block, and, for, I'll uh, block for six. And in reactions, I will pummel it for another plus two. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I have no reactions to that, so I will end up taking two here. Unless you have another pummel. No, I don't. Okay, and then I will discard uh, as per the pummel. Oh, hang on. We are totally doing this wrong. What's up? I totally forgot that I'm playing KO, not Rhino. I need to roll for Fendel's oh! Spring Tuna. Yeah. Let's, ta let's take that all back. It's because you didn't... That you didn't, could be very you, different. You didn't even roll the last game, so I was like... I only, I only attacked once with a six attack in the last game. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Uh, so rolling for Fendel's Spring Tuna... It is a five, so it is actually coming in for twelve. Okay, well, yeah, so that a... may cha that may change exactly what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I know you have the pummel, but I, th I think I'm still gonna I... I think I'm still gonna block it like this anyway. But instead, I'm gonna throw in some equipment as well. So uh, six, seven, eight. I'll block eight, and then I, I'm still gonna pummel to get the card out of your hand. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'll pretend. Yeah, pretend that I didn't know about the pummel. So six. Eight, and then how much is that coming in for total? A 14? So it's coming in for 14 altogether. Okay, so I end up taking six then here. Yeah. Three. <laughs> uh, so I, I knew there was a reason I was playing KO. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so uh, I have to discard a card. I will be discarding... I think I want this one late game. So I'll discard this Art of War that was in my hand. I couldn't... I couldn't my, my hand couldn't block that well anyway, so... Uh, okay, and then both of my equipment. Let's get a counter. These are gone. All right, uh, my turn. We will get another tunic. Um, turn's gonna be very easy. I'm just gonna e strike you for seven from Arsenal, talking my final card. Uh, a block three and reactions. Uh, yeah, no, no reactions for me. Uh, sink below. Nice. Uh, I'll, I'll choose not to block. Uh, sorry, not to sink. I should say. <laughs> uh, Stormgate's heading out too. Have a good one, man. They'll be back later, and hopefully the stream will still be on. Um, maybe we'll probably be on for at least this game. I no. don't know. I don't know if we'll have time for another one, but. Maybe one more after this. Um, all right, my turn? Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll go ahead and clean up and pass to you. All right. Um, I'm going to roll scab skins. Yeah, let's do it. So four, so I get two action points. Perfect. Nothing needed. Uh, so I'll start. Uh, first action point, I will put out an e -pot. Uh Then I will... Play brandish chain okay. uh, swing coming in for three. If it hits my uh, next weapon attack, gets plus one. Yeah. So it does. It's coming in for three. I think I will block with. I think my turn is going to be something like that. Uh, I'll, I'll block for three with uh, this uh, radicate here. Alrighty. And then the rock says, know your damn roll, coming in for seven. Yeah. 
So Rock's coming in for seven here. I think... Hmm. I could just do this, which is probably what I want to do. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy the rock, but I, I don't think it's a blitz weapon. It, it, it feels very similar to trying to get Hexagor to work in Blitz, where you're like, it will come off a couple of times, but but you're, you're, you're spending a lot to, yeah. to make it yeah. happen. Um, how do I want to do this? I could pitch and then... That walk. being said, um, I've technically sung for 24 over the last two turns. I mean, it's... I mean, I mean, you, you you've had some pretty good rolls. You've rolled like five yeah, yeah, yeah. and four. Well, I mean, like... that, that, that's why I'm saying that. That's why I feel like KO is the if you're gonna try rock and blitz, KO is the one to go. Blitz. Yeah, yeah. It's like one of those ones because where like you, you know get, you get the help on on the turns that you can't swing the rock. You can you can high roll and still be doing a bunch of damage. Yeah, it's like very feast or famine. Um, I think I'm just gonna block two here. And I'll end up taking five total. Go to seven. All right. Go to seven. All right. Uh, for my turn, get a tunic. Counter. Uh, I think we're going to use the tunic counter. Cash, cash that in, but not actually cash in. Uh, to attack with Rob the Rich. I'm going to attempt to rob you. So this is five... Uh, and then I have an Arachne trigger to look at the top card of your deck. And if it hits, does it banish or does it take cards from my hand? Uh, so all of them banish the top card. Uh, the only one that takes cards from the hand is Eradicate. Uh, so this one this one will just banish the top card if it hits. Oh my god, I don't know how much that costs to play. <laughs> this is one of those things where I'm like... It's, it's hard to tell. Uh... Let's see if it, if, if it is a better. Uh, I know what the card is. Here, I'll just I'll just look it up. I'll just look it up real quick. So uh, let me let me tell you if I want to put the top or bottom. Uh, I think it might only cost one, but let me let me see. This um, is this is where I don't have all of like my uh like the all the knowledge. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll leave it on top. We'll leave it on top. Um, I really like my hand, so I am, I'm just going to take five then. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to just dig it in a little bit. Uh, I'll, I'll like to cut to the chase as a reaction, and then also, uh, Mask of Perdition to banish an extra card. So this is, uh, going to be coming in for a total of seven, and it'll banish the top two. Alright, All right. uh, so you're banishing, uh, so Pack Hunt was the one that you saw. Yep. Oh. Epot is the one that you didn't see. Okay, well, I will get a single silver from the pack hunt. What are you on? Uh, rock range. I'm at seven. Okay. I'm glad rock is rock type, or rock is weapon type rock, so you can't, like, pummel me <laughs> with the rock. Um... <laughs> uh... You, right. you can, I know, I know this is going to upset you. You can lunging press the rock. Oh, no, you can't. You can't no, lunging press. No, you can't, because it's a weapon. It's not a, it's a weapon. Don't, don't even get me started on it. You know that. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Um, I'm going to brandish for two. Um, yeah. okay. Pitching a blue, so i got two floating. Two cards in hand. Yeah. Um, let's see what I want to do on my turn. Probably. Do you, you think you're going to get to your turn? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, my hand blocks decently. I think we we don't be greedy and just block. I think we'll block with the iron hide pitching. This Slay the Scholars will float one, just in case we want to crack our Tez in this turn. Well, it blocks for two. Alrighty. Uh, we're going to Intimidate a card. Uh, yeah, 
that's fine. We have a spider's bite, arachne, or the ornate tasm. All right, so uh, we'll go ornate tasm. Cool. So that is cool. Um, so nice. We'll do it twice. Uh, we'll uh, intimidate another card. Doofa doofa. All right, here we go. Um, so that was a three. So we'll go the one over arachne. Okay. I now have no cards in my hand, so I will crack the E pot to uh, go, go up to four and swing with the rock, coming in for either seven or 14. <laughs> hmm. Rock says, know your damn roll. Hmm. Okay. If you smell. What so let's see. It's cooking. I probably. D so what, what's the barraging beatdown? Uh, stipulation. So you you have to you have to block with two non-equipment cards, or or it gets the bonuses. So yeah, so I have one card in my hand, so it's gonna get the bonus. Yeah, so it's coming in for fourteen. Yeah. And you can't prevent it, so so like you can block, but you can't you can't yeah. do I, any. I think you got me. Yeah, I, I block for four and then take ten and die. There you go. There you go. The rock says, <laughs> "No, you damn roll." I don't <laughs> think I. I could have, uh, let's see, I don't think I could have played that another way and not died. Yeah. I think I was pretty, I, th pretty I think what I've learned, what I've learned is that uh, Deep Blue is not the, not the chess piece for this. Um, it's, it is, it, it is definitely, um, you need to tune it or, or actually Barkbone Strapping may, um, may be a good bet because you can, you can yeah. get one block out of it. I think Barkbone could be interesting. Would you like would you like uh, a go against my Rhino deck, which isn't a rock deck? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm down to play anything. I just want to play right. play more Assassin. I mean, I've all, I've literally only played like less than ten games with the the class with Arachne in general. So just playing more is uh, what I'm what I'm here for. And I hit him with the rock. He hit me with the rock. The first game, I got past the rock. Not so much. First game, I, I got him. I got I, I shanked him. Second game, I got smushed by the rock. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's uh, let's see what we can do with the Rhino. First game, I was able to dodge roll behind him and, and get him. Second game, I, I didn't didn't timed it wrong. <laughs> Hypno Toad says, "I smell what the rock is cooking." <laughs> <laughs> it's serving it. serving sp spider legs, man. Honestly, the rock puns that kept me around. <laughs> well, if you're sticking around, we probably have like one more game, one more game in us. We'll see. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how quick this game is. Maybe, maybe two, but uh, yeah, definitely at least one more. Yeah, I'm not really playing like a fatigue, uh, Rackney, and I'll be, I'll be honest. So, so, so the thing is, um, that KO was a little bit more fatigue, not fatigue, but a little bit more life gain set up set up for yeah sort of second cycle rock um, I, I, I like the idea is throw, throw a couple of sixes here and there hope to roll high on them but the actual my actual setup final play that i was aiming for was the um quad intimidate like <laughs> uh, the quad intimidate oh. uh um epot epot fendel spring tunic into the rock combo yeah, so so I'm guessing the card that you the card that you didn't know what it was. I'm guessing it is cleansing blow, which is the blue generic, the blue generic intimidates. Oh, it might from... be. It's just got like a, a just got like a brood on it. Uh, yeah, 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 that's that the one. one yeah, that's the one. Yeah. I'm like, I, I, yeah, I don't yeah. Know. So it's it's just the straight blue intimidate. So that so I'm running I'm running the barraging and. And blue high roller and and that a a to pay for rock swings with brandish, but also to try and set up that quad intimidate, hit you with the rock to finish you off um, turn. Yeah, I mean like you got there, like you you got the you got the brandish, mm -hmm. brandish double barraging into, yeah. into rock. Yeah, well, and that's a really that's a really interesting play too because because people are like, oh well, he's not going to clear his hand, so he can't swing with the rock. Well, you know, he, he probably can't swing with the rock yet, so. That's why I, I like those I like those cards, and also the fact that uh, 
you you kind of are forced to block brandish just in case i can swing over the rock so yeah yeah i Alrighty. i, I could have activated my ornate tezen but there's literally no card in my deck that would have made me survive <laughs> that so all right yeah. do you want uh do you want odds or evens oh odds please odds it is your mm. choice I think I go first. I think I go first. All right. So I've got a slightly different um, gear set up. Just so you know, I've got Skullhorn. Mm. I've got uh, Spindle, Spring Tunic, Goliath, and I am playing Beacon Trackers. For this good old one. Beacon Trackers. I pulled a, a good number of foil Beacon Trackers, including, I think, I think I have a cold foil one. Um, it's the Brute Pants from when you're sick of rolling ones on Scabskin. Yeah, yeah. It's really good in Blitz. It really is. Yeah. Like, like I, I, I'm almost thinking it's going to be my go-to legs in most matchups with Reiner. Alrighty. I would like to... I think we can do a thing. I will bite you. Spider's Bite. Pitching the Surgical Extraction. So that's going to be one coming on in. Floating, floating one. I will block. I will block. Sounds good. This is giving you a little bit of a mulligan, but it also makes the next attack potential. Well, I mean, if you didn't block, it makes the next attack. Um, I would like to annihilate the arm. So I get to look at the top card of your deck with Arachne's ability. Uh, this one cares about banishing attack action cards. We will leave that one on the top. And so it's coming in for five, and I'll use my last resource that I had floating. Oh, okay, I'm gonna give it a plus three to make it eight. Uh, Cut to the chase also has a effect, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do the effect because I already know what the card is. Cool. All right, so I take two and take... banish the top card. Yep. Uh, so yeah, that should be a smash. Smash instinct. Yep. yep. And so I will get a, a silver because it is an attack action card. Uh, I'll move to arsenal, arsenal my card, and then pass to you. I think that's what I want to do first turn. I want to at least have a card in the arsenal and try to get a silver if I can. And so I can start off the game with maybe a little bit of damage, but silver, card, and arsenal. I think that's my goal. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I will tunic up. Sweet. Sounds good. I will pitch uh, Ricket Romp. I play uh, Savage Feast. Um, Rhinar or Claws? Uh, let's do Claws. Beast Within. So we'll do the Beast Within trigger. Oof. One. Oof. Two. Oh, no. Oof. Three. Oh, no. This is me playing Beast Within. Four. Four. So, uh, I get, uh, I get Savage Feast back. I then also get to draw one off Savage Savage Feast, yeah. I am going to also pop my Ben Trackers to give me uh, another attack. Cool, and then you, you uh, took... Another action, I should say. Cool, and how, how much and life I'm did taking... you lose? I, I took four. So you're at four, 14 now? 14, yeah. Okay. And I get one Intimidate. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll do uh, two, four, or one, two, three, four, five as well. Actually, I have four, so we can do one, two, three, four, and then re-roll five or six. All right, so uh, four. Okay. Okay. Is that one that I wanted? Maybe. Hmm. How many cards do you have in your hand after all that? I have two. Okay. okay. You have two cards in hand, two resources floating, and you have an action point from your, your pants. That is right. My fancy pants. <laughs> Maybe. Poker face. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. That is 
is that is a brutal hit die. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that I, I have killed myself. It's been a while since I played Brute, but uh, the last couple times I played, I, I'm pretty sure I killed myself with uh, Beast Within. On the, on the upside, this should at least help if I if I get Berserk this game. So, for Berserk to hit. Yeah. How much is this coming in for? Six. Six with that, with that follow up action. Yeah. I will block like. I'll still get this back. I'll block three and take three. Unless you have a reaction. Well, that's fine. Okay. Uh, yep. Uh, so take three. Go to. Then I'll come in for 16. three with go again. Three with go again. Oh, with the with the claw. With the claw, yeah. Um. Got two cards still in hand. This uh, I'm gonna take three here. Go to fourteen. Mm -hmm. I'll then pitch three and come in with yellow smash instinct, so I get one one intimidate. Yep. So we'll go le left odds, right evens. It's evens. So on your right. All right, okay. Well, let's change this one. So, okay. coming in for six. Oops. Coming in for six. And this one does not have go again. This one does not have go. Yeah, I'm just going to block three, four, five. So, I'll block five here. All right, take, take one. Take, take one. Yep, go to 13. All righty. Over to you. All right, I'm going to damage on here, block there, and then get these cards back. All right, let's. Hmm. Uh, we got a tunic here. Don't want to forget that. I will come at you with a spider's bite for one float, one resource. Uh, I'll I'll take one here. Good fair thing. Okay. Um, so now all of your uh, attack actions have minus one defense for the next, uh, next block. Yep. Uh, I think we, I think we just go for seven. So I'll, I'll e-strike for seven, tucking my final card. Um, uh, no initial block in your reactions? Uh, no. I got nothing. I will rip the swing. Uh, so, Rhino, left four or right four? Let's go Rhino. Rhino. Oh, All right. oh, nice. You don't take any, and I take three. Okay. Take three. Uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and clean up and pass back to you. I will play Savage Feast from my arsenal, pitching one, discarding one. Mm -hmm. So it is a Savage Swing. So one Intimidate. Oh, okay, yep. Uh, we have four cards, so I guess one through four and then five or six reroll. Yeah. Two. Okay, two. And also I get to draw a card. Savage Feast. Yeah. So Savage Feast is coming for how much? Is it five? Yes, yeah, six, six. Six. Six no go again. Six no go again. It's nice and simple. What's the cost of it to play? Is it a two drop? One. It okay. costs one to play. Cool. Just making sure. Just making sure. <laughs> I think... Since I have this in hand... I can do these. I think what we want to do... Is block three. Hmm. That's such a greedy play. <laughs> oh my god. I'll block three. I'll take three and go to ten. 
Unless you got to raise the reflex. No, no. Okay. Cool. I get my card back. All right. Start a turn. Get uh, my third tunic. Um, I would like to start by attacking with a spoder, spoder boat, uh, pitching, <laughs> spoder boat, pitching, <laughs> slay the scholar, splitting one. Uh, so what's the deal? What are we looking at? Spider bite. Coming in for one, uh, threatening the on hit effect. Ashen Wing says, hey, how's everyone doing? I'm doing fantastic. I hope everyone in chat is doing fantastic as well. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm uh, taking one here. Right. Taking one, boss. All right. Um, I would next like to annihilate the armed with my floating resource. So this one uh, cares about banishing attack action cards. Um, and when it hits, banish the top card. So I have a Arachne trigger to look at the top card of your deck. Ah. Can you can you raise it up a little bit? Okay, yeah, yeah. Put you can put that. Let me let me see. If, is that better at the, that camp? Yeah, yeah. Let me. I, I'm pretty sure we could, we're gonna bottom that, but let me just look uh look it up real quick. Let me see. I don't remember. I don't remember exactly what it does. Yeah, we're gonna bottom that. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not bottom. We're topping, we're topping it, we're topping it. Yeah. So how much is it coming in for? It's coming in for four, and I have one card in hand. So, hang on, what's the wording on Spider Bite? Is it the next attack by attack actions, or the next time I block with attack actions? Uh, the next time you defend with one or more attack action cards this turn. Right, so if I didn't block this and then block with an attack action, the next thing, the minus one would ha happen there. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Alright, let's, uh... Four, you say? Yeah. And how much have you got floating? Uh, I have nothing floating, but I do have a three counters on my tunic and one card in hand. I am I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a bit silly and say no block here. Okay. Um I will react with both of my equipment. So if they hit if it hits it'll banish another card and if it hits I'll get go again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, that, that's so it. Hits for four? Yep, it'll hit for four. Mm -hmm. So it should banish, I think it's your card, the Savage. Yep, Savage, savage Beatdown, cool. and then one more. Yep, so I get a Silver for Savage, and then... And a Beast for that. Cool, and I'll get a Silver for Beast with them, because it, it's also an attack action card. Um, so these are both destroyed. What are you on, by the way? Uh, I'm at ten. All right, so... We're going to break the combat chain here. Uh, and I'm going to play cash in from hand to get rid of uh, two of the silvers to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why this card? Why? Oh my god. I could play it and kill myself. I drew regicide, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do, this is going to be a big turn. Oh, just, just a long turn, I guess. Uh, we're going to tunic. Play Regicide. Go on, I dare you. No, we're going to get rid of it. We're going to play Art of War. I'm going to play Art of War. Boo. And the mode is going to be banish this Regicide. Sorry, Regicide. Uh, draw two, uh, and then... Sorry, and then I, I'm just going to let someone in the door. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll decide what I want to do uh, while Ian's letting someone in. That was quick. Alright, so, okay. yeah. Tell me what's... All right, I'm back. Tell me okay. what's happening. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, uh, Art of War, ban uh, using the tunic to pay for it. Uh, I'm choosing Banish, draw two. And then the other mode... Go again would be nice if I draw two zero drops. Uh, but if I don't, if I draw a reaction and a thing, plus one would be better. Let's just do plus one. So, plus one, plus one. So, draw two, plus one, plus one. So, 
I draw two. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, and then I'll just come in with a leave no witnesses for five. So we have another Ar Arachne trigger. I gotta look at the top card of your deck. Leave no witnesses um, hits cards in your arsenal. So um, it'll banish the top card of your deck and a card in your arsenal. We'll leave that one on top. Um, and so it's coming in for five. So annoying, I wanted to hold on. Yeah. You've got one card in hand? I do have one card in hand. Uh, ugly. Uh, I'm gonna block nine. Okay, yep, that, that's, that'll do it. Uh, yep, I'll just go ahead and arsenal my, l yeah, I'm gonna arsenal this last card and then pass to you. I'm, I'm gonna click Tunic up. Uh, then on my turn, I'm just gonna pitch and swing for, swing for three with the claw. Get him with the claw. Um, okay, so coming in with the claw, I think I want to... The I'm... current score, I'm on five, and I believe... Uh, I I'm believe... at ten. There's a ten, yeah. Yeah, so I think what we're going to do here is... That Art of War really messed up my plans. Yeah, I, I drew into Art of War and Regicide. The, having the tunic trigger or tunic counters really, really helped me in that turn. Uh, I'm just going to no block here. So this this is coming in for three. Hits for three, right? For three. Yep. Got yeah. seven. Yep. This is, this is a rock range. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But that let me keep a full hand. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, start a turn. Uh, counter for tunic. We also have triggers for these two, but I only have one silver, so I can't get them back. Um, instead, I would like to eradicate. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to eradicate pitching this Rob the Rich. So this is coming in for four. This is the one where it banishes X, where X is the damage it deals. Um, and I get a look at the top card for the, uh, Arachne trigger. Uh, we will bottom that one. For, for multiple reasons. <laughs> Get that one out of here. Man, I need to try something back to this guy. Um, I am going to block for nine, though. Nine, you Just say? Hope you, can't, you hope you can't double rate. Nine, you say? That's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not gonna react to that one then, so... Yeah. That, that, that'll do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass my turn back over to you. And draw All two. Alright. Draw two. Go now, I ain't gonna see if I can kill you off one card in hand. Uh, we'll see. So, we'll, we'll find out. So we're gonna pop Tunic uh, for one floating resource. Yeah. We're gonna... Uh, oh, blood no. rush from oh, Arsenal no. and discard a wild ride, so we get one, um, one intimidate. Yeah. Uh, so one, intimidate. Two, let's see. What'd you roll? Yeah. Uh, card number one. Okay. This one. Okay. Um, I then get to draw two. My brute cards get plus two per turn. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything floating. Uh, this is interesting. This is interesting. I'll pitch Berserk to come in for five. Yeah, I will. So I still have this as well. I'll block three. Uh, take two. Taking two. Go to five. I'll then close the combat chain. Mm -hmm. I, I will then play at Skullhorn to draw and randomly discard. Cool. What is, uh, what is so, Skullhorn? Is it like an action with go again? Yeah, it's an action with go again. So I I randomly I draw and then randomly discard. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll pick uh, Reinar for the discard. 
Run up the discards. Ah! Damn it. Uh, that is an Intimidate, but unfortunately, it means it left me with a card that is not enough to swing the other core with. So okay. I will just ask and let him pass. Okay. It was a it was a Hail Mary. <laughs> yeah, I mean like I was scared for for a minute. I was like, oh no, he's gonna kill me. Uh alright, tunic. One. Alright, well we'll we'll try to we'll try to answer the we'll try to respond in kind here. Well actually this is not a great great one for you, but you're you're pretty low. You're at five. I'm at five. I'll just uh, slay the scholars for four. So I, I do get a look at the top card of your deck. Slay the scholars cares about banishing non-attack action cards. Where is that? Uh, we can keep that on top. We can keep it on top. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep that on top. Uh, how many cards? I have two cards in hand, one in arsenal. And how much floating? Uh, nothing. This is a zero for four. Uh, put in Tunic and the Skullcrack for four. Alright, uh, I would like to give it plus two with a cut to the chase, making it, uh, six. Uh, so oh. I'll take food. Uh, let me think. Do I want to? I will also shred it. So I'll also shred to give one of your things minus two to block. So it'll come in okay, for a total one. of four. Yep. And so it'll banish the top card. And it should be a non-attack. I think. I think Berserk's a non-attack. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hey, for folks watching, there we go. I'm wearing a Berserk shirt. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'll, I will get a, I will get a silver off of that, and uh, that'll be my turn, because that, right. that does not have go again. Uh, okay. If it had go again, that crack. that would be nuts. I am gonna crack uh, Goliath Gauntlet. Oh no! Okay, here um, we go. Uh, I'm going to then play, hoping, pitching a sand sketch plan. I. Draw and randomly discard. So Reinar or Paul? Um, so is this is this going to end up being? You know, before you do this, before this resolves, I I would like to do an instant. I think. Sure. Just in case. Yeah, I want to get the floating resources here. I'm going to pitch this Art of War to Ornate Tezen, floating one. And I'll put this card on the bottom and draw a card. Just optimize my chances of actually being able to block whatever you're going to be coming in with. All right, so now we'll do uh, Ryan, over Reinar. Reinar, it is a six. It is a wild ride. So it's going to be coming in for eight with Dominate, and I get one Intimidate. Yep. All right, so we have three cards here. All right, so le from left to right, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, sounds good. The so one, so the card on your left. Oh um, so my! Eight would dominate. Yeah. All right, so we got that. Let's see what I have left in my hand. Okay, so I think we'll go. I have a tunic next turn. We'll go three. It's cute that you think he's gonna be next turn. Four, five. Well, you got a pummel here. All right, so let me let me play around this pummel then. Um, so I'm gonna be blocking with this iron hide because I have one floating, um, yeah. and then I have the surgical. I guess the real question is, do I block with the tunic? So you said it's eight dominate. Eight dominate. So I'm blocking for five here. Could take three. What do I have in my hand? What do I have going on? Yeah, I'll, I'll toss the tunic in just in case. All right, see what you got it. So how much is that? Block? Uh, three. It's I'm blocking for six. Three, four, five, six. All right. So, so you take two and I get go again. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So you take two and then I am going to go to three. Play massacre for my arsenal because I've discarded a six this turn. It gets plus two and intimidate. So it's coming in 
one intimidate and eight. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> one intimidate and eight, you say? <laughs> yes. Well, that's why I was saying it was cute that you thought you were going to get to the next turn. Uh, I like being cute, though. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, you take my card and I take it's eight. Totally I, on brand. I can't, I can't block, right? Uh, so yeah. I just, yeah. take, I just take eight. <laughs> ah, the intimidates really, really, really hurt. My hand was pretty, right. my hand was pretty rough for blocking. I had Art of War and then two Razor Reflexes, so I, I bottomed, I bottomed uh, one of the razors uh, yeah, to try well, to get more three blocks. My, my only saving grace. Um, last turn was that you didn't have go again because i only had two blocks and i had the pole in the wild ride in hand so like had you had go again you probably would have killed me oh, because so two, two of these don't block if i had go again my card in arsenal that i've been sandbagging is a cash in so i'd have cashed in to draw two cards i, I think i would have got you if i had go again yeah excellent excellent all right uh, dude well yes that was a good game um again i as I said, the new cards are, are, are fun. I, I, I think this is actually less consistent than my old Rhino deck. So yeah. it still needs a little bit more tweaking. But um, Yeah, I mean, like, I didn't I didn't see a lot of the... Like, you didn't play a lot of the new cards. Like, they didn't come up that often. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, you banished a bunch of them. And, and also, my, uh, my yeah. Beast Within didn't help me. Because, uh, like, like, the ideal is that you want to try and get your Berserk the same time you get your Blood Rush. So you, you start with a Berserk. Then you blood rush. Hopefully, draw draw a card off berserk. Then you draw two cards off blood rush and stuff like that. And yeah. then also because I discarded my primeval bellows, they were kind of my my starter cards to get the um, savage beatdowns going as well. So yeah, I but yeah I I likely should have played a little more defense. Well, I don't know. It's hard to say because I got you down to one, right? Um, yeah, yeah. So it was pretty pretty close either way. Yeah. 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 I I I think this was a greedy play though. Like this this is the trying to get the extra intimidate yeah. early, but yeah. it's really like there was a lot of time in the game where like, I really wish this was a skull cap that blocked for two. Yeah, skull skull cap would have been nice actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. I do like uh, my choice of running the iron hide on here. I, I really yeah, like no, solid. I really like the combination between the iron hide and the, the Tezen because it really helps you get out of weird situations. Especially the Tezen because uh, I have a lot of three blocks, but I'm also running like Art of Wars and, you know, Razors. A lot of stuff that doesn't block very well or doesn't block at all. Right. So having the Tezen to filter that, or like on the, the first game we played, to filter into a uh, attack reaction to take a card out of your hand was was uh, my, my favorite use of, <laughs> favorite use of this, this fan. So I, I'm a fan of the fan. I dig it. Um, nice. All right, all right, dude. Well, that that was a lot of fun. I need to I need yes. to uh, move on. on yeah. my merry way for yep, the that, afternoon. That'll be it for the stream. Thank you all so much for watching. We had a pretty solid viewership throughout the stream, so thank you all for watching. Um, we're gonna be doing this again next week. Um, possibly more flesh and blood. Possibly vampire: The Eternal Struggle. We will see. If I can't get the vampire game going, we might do Ultimate Pit Fight. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll I'll figure something out. So. Either way, we're going to have a stream next week. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, thanks again, Ian, for joining. Um, if you'd like to shout out your stuff before you head out, you you, you may uh, have the floor to yeah. do so. Yeah, so um, I am uh, on Facebook, Right Time Gaming. That's probably where I'm most active. Also on Twitter, Right Time G. And uh, I do have a little YouTube channel that um, we're trying to get to 316 subs and we've been trying to get there for over a year now because I've got, I've got a really cool Sushi Night playmat to give away if we get <laughs> that, that Steve Austin number. Um, uh, I, 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 admittedly, I'm a little bit sporadic with the uh, with the videos on there, but now that uh, now that all the traveling for the year is uh, finished up, hopefully I'll start doing a, a few more videos on there as well so you can check me out there. But also pretty much just keep watching red zone rogue and i'll tend to pop up <laughs> playing yeah. games yeah <laughs> yeah and i I'd like to mention the channel memberships again if folks like the live streams uh channel memberships are a way to get like custom emotes that i have and the more people join the more emotes i can do i would like to commission some flesh and blood themed emotes currently we only have my uh original characters but i'd like to get like an arachne emote and maybe a rock emote because people really like rock uh and uh like a lexi you get a rock with googly eyes yeah yeah it could be good so uh 
thanks so much for watching, everyone. Thanks, Ian, for joining me. And we'll catch you next week.